What's up everybody, I'm Sydney Goodman and in today's Daily Fix, Disney Plus avoids R-rated content, World of Warcraft classic returns, and Marvel's first openly gay character in a major role. Roll the thing! While all the Marvel superheroes will one day live together comfortably in the warm glow of Disney Plus, there's one who might get left out in the cold. We're looking at you, Deadpool. Disney's new streaming platform will launch with more than 500 movies and 7,000 TV episodes. But according to Eric Vespi, writer for Rooster Teeth The Know, Disney Plus will only carry content that is, quote, PG-13 or softer. So when they eventually get around to making more Deadpool, either they'll have to make an exception or make him PG-13. The third option would be to push Deadpool to Hulu. Vespi tweeted that guessing if Fox's harder-edged content would show up on Hulu would be a, quote, good assumption. Disney Plus is set to launch on November 12th. World of Warcraft Classic has officially launched, and if you're still queuing up trying to get in and decided to watch the Daily Fix before you airdrop back into Azeroth, welcome. But plenty of people did manage to get in, and even more people decided to watch those lucky few on Twitch. Over 1 million viewers watched WoW Classic on Twitch and regular WoW 2, I guess. But come on, Classic is out. The number has gone down since. But WoW Classic has gotten so much coverage that even big streamers like Shroud have decided to drop in and play the game on stream. Which is cool and all, but I just want to go back to watching Shroud get sick, no scopes, and Apex Legends. Marvel overlord Kevin Feige has confirmed that the upcoming film The Eternals will feature the MCU's first openly gay character in a large role. In an interview with Good Morning America, Feige detailed that the character is married, has a family, and that's all just a part of who he is. This follows some backlash after Marvel debuted the first ever gay character in Avengers Endgame. That character was played by Joe Russo and was inconsequential to the plot of the movie. We don't know who this character will be, we have literally no idea, but if you have any guesses, make sure to drop them down in the comments. Marvel's Eternals blasts its way into theaters on November 6th, 2020. And that's your daily fix for August 27th. I'm Sydney Goodman, and I hope your day is as awesome as you are. Now that you're all caught up on the news, check out Ninja Gaiden 2 Zero Death Let's Play, download the IGN app on all your mobile devices, subscribe to the Daily Fix on Snapchat, and for all things everything else, IGN.com.